Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael, and I love video games. And I'm addicted! So I can't quit! And like any rational gamer, after dealing with the nonsense that these devs have been putting out year after year, you start to think to yourself, maybe I can make something better. And so I set off on my journey to learn game development. But there was a catch. You see, I had never done any game development before, and I had no idea where to start. Luckily enough, I'm a front-end developer, so I'm comfortable enough with programming, but I've never used the language that most video games are programmed in, C Sharp. And if any of you watching this are unfamiliar with programming languages, they're kind of like real life languages. You know, they're similar enough, but completely different. Before setting off to do something completely new, we have to start with the most important step. Subscribe. Research. Before starting anything new, the most important step is to know what you're doing. And the only way to do that is by research. So I started my journey with a simple Google search. How do I make games? And that's when I realized that it can be pretty difficult to find the starting point for game design. It seems like a lot of people are trying to sell you a course or to get you to start off with the very basics of programming with uh, Python and JavaScript and then try to sell you a course for that. So I'm gonna do you guys a solid. I'm gonna cut right to the meat of the matter. The best game creation software that I found that is both accessible for beginners and powerful enough to build a fun 3D game was Unity. So now I had my software selected, but now I had to figure out a way to actually learn this stuff. So now I started looking for some of the best resources to learn Unity. So I was looking for good detailed videos that could help me both learn Unity and C Sharp, the language that powers Unity. I like my video tutorials to be short and broken up into different segments. That's how I like to learn. So I can focus on one specific thing at a time. If I get this long, you know, 40 minute video, uh, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna commit and stick through it all the way. So I couldn't find anything on YouTube that fit that, but Unity actually has its own video documentation. So I started to skim through that and see what it was all about. And that was by far the best video documentation that I could find on Unity. And from there, it seemed like the most logical start point was their Create With Code course. It covered both the basics of C Sharp, which I was completely unfamiliar with, and Unity, which I am also completely unfamiliar with. So I spent about a week working through this tutorial. And in the tutorial, they have you do small mechanics of a game one by one through each module, right? Like it starts off with you making a character move and then you make a character jump and it slowly builds on itself. Hey, it's me there in the corner. I just wanted to take a minute to go a little more in depth as to why I think this particular course is so good. I think this course has done so well that even if you have no prior programming experience, you'd be able to pick this up and find your way. It does a fantastic job of breaking down the fundamentals of programming, things like variables, objects, functions, loops, and it introduces them one at a time in a way that you can physically see in the game. Let's take an object for instance, right? Here we have our player controller object, pretty much what makes our character move. In Unity, you can drag that object as a script into the player. So you're physically assigning the player in the game, this guy right here, you're physically assigning him that object that you just made. And everything that you put in that object is going to affect that character, right? And it's the same with variables. The variables that are inside this player specific script in this object here, like let's say jump force for instance, we can go inside of Unity and now when we're in Unity and we click on the actual player model, we can see that object that we put inside it and we can see all the variables that we put inside that object. So let's take this variable we created here, jump force, and let's take a look at it at 650.
Okay, so that's the variable we assigned, jump force set to 650. Now we're gonna double it, set it to 1300. And we're gonna do the same thing. As you saw that time, the character was jumping off the screen, right? So with Unity, you can see your code in action. It's something that I feel you don't get in web development, but this is what made Unity so fun for me. Now, another big thing that I really liked about Unity was that it gives you free assets, right? It gives you basic character models, uh, basic sound effects, background music. So you can play and learn these things and learn how game development works with models and music. And it just gives you a better feel of the big picture. And then it slowly introduces you onto how to implement all these assets into your game. How to assign a character model, how to add the music, how to add the sound effects and the animations. And it really was one of the most fun courses that I think I've ever done. And now it's time for step three or phase three. I, don't, I forgot if I was using phases or steps. Step or phase three, actually building the game. So now I gave myself a couple hours after work every day to see how far I could get with building a game. I had my idea of the type of game that I wanted to build. I was gonna build a uh, top-down zombie shooter and have zombies spawn on the edge of an arena and like you're in the middle shooting a gun and killing the zombies. That was my plan. And we definitely made some progress towards that. Yo, it's me there in the corner again. And now it's time for the big reveal. Hey, let me stop you right there, player. Future Michael here. And uh, I already know what some of you guys are thinking. What is this game? It may not be much, but it's still better than a lot of those AAA titles out there. Back to you, Past Michael. How much was I able to get done in a week? I'd say I put in a total of like <laughs> maybe six or seven hours into this. And this is what we got. Are you guys ready? <laughs> this is it. Oh man. We we almost realized our goal. All right? Almost kind of sorta. <laughs> game development's no joke, man. So my game doesn't start or end. Uh score is not being kept. The uh, not so finished product. Game design is not fast or easy at first, all right? But it is fun. And isn't that what matters? And now that we have spent one week working on our game, I'd like to share some thoughts. Game development, slightly harder than I anticipated it to be. <laughs> Just a little bit. But it's a lot of fun. I think, honestly, it was one of the most fun ways I've ever learned a programming language. Learning C Sharp through working in Unity was fun, it was engaging, it was interactive, and it forces you to be comfortable with some of the basics of C Sharp. There's still a lot that needs to be done with our bare bones game. Uh, like I said, I was only putting in a couple hours after work on it for about a week, but I am gonna try to wrap this game up and get it to a somewhat playable state. My final verdict on game development, it's fun, it's extremely challenging. It's very intuitive. It's one of the few times that I've ever worked with code and programming in such a visual way. You get immediate visual feedback and that's just, it feels good. It just feels good. Would I ever be a game developer? No, probably not. Probably not. It's a lot of fun, but I could see this being incredibly stressful with deadlines and just that pressure of it being your job. And that's not for me. And now I'm curious, what are your thoughts on game development? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, like the video, subscribe, check out the links below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.